we have a graphic to kind of explain this. So let's show that to our viewers and uh, talk about this knock knees and bow. So go sure. ahead, doctor. Sure. So as, as we see in our graphic, uh, you have a normal alignment. And as, as you can see in the normal alignment, it's actually slightly valgus. It's, it's a very mild angu valgus angulation. Uh, and as you progress to knock knees, you, that valgus gets bigger. Okay, and you get you can get to the point where your out the out part the outside part of your knee or the lateral part of your knee starts to in, get increased stresses, and the same thing can be said for the for the genu varum, which is the opposite, and the inside part of your knee starts to get increased stresses. Okay, now looking at that picture, I would think you know that stress can be a little bit painful, right? So initially, it's not, <clears throat> unless it's, it's not. very severe. No, uh, okay. but what it, what we know now is that as you age, it can progress to early degeneration of the knee, which what we call arthritis. And how do you fix that? So, because when you look at it, you think, okay, well, that's permanent. Sure, but. sure. So, um, physiologic varus and valgus, we don't fix. We watch, and hopefully, they go through normal cycles and then they correct themselves. Um, and mild genu valgum, we don't fix because that's within normal. Uh, after the age of about three or four, we don't like to see genu varum. Uh, and if that's the case, we follow it very closely, make sure that it, it that is going to start to correct. Maybe it's just a little slower in that particular patient. Uh, and if uh, it doesn't seem to correct or getting worse, then there's surgical options. Okay. Uh, and like I said about the growth plate that kids have, we can use that to our advantage and modulate the growth. We can stop the growth on one side, and if you can imagine you're only growing on half of your leg, it'll start to change the angulation, and we can make a, a bent leg straight. Now, if kids are beyond that and they're skeletally, skeletally mature, there are no growth plates are not there anymore, we do osteotomies. We cut the bone, we make them straight, and we put plates and screws is this something that can cause pain if it's not treated on other parts of the leg, like yeah, upper? Yeah, if, if it's severe, absolutely, yes. It your can. mechanical axis changes, it can cause abductor weakness, something called a varus lurch where you're walking abnormally, uh, and absolutely can cause back problems, um, hip problems, uh, but those are very, very severe cases. Uh, we usually, the mild cases seen in kids rarely do that.